Well, greetings and salutations, Series 7 test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas with another explication request. The best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. But if you're looking for a paid supplement and you don't have a Kaplan QBank, I highly recommend it. You can get it for about $60 with my Guru 10 discount code at checkout. And for that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look at Kaplan content. We will explicate or help you with any question from any vendor. Just easier if it's Kaplan because you can give me the QID and I can bring it up uh, backstage, uh, so to speak. All right, let's get busy on this one. A corporation's income statement. So, you know, the financial statements of the corporation are its balance sheet as of a picture in time, its income statement and statement of cash flow. And the corporation is going to report that uh, four times a year, three 10Qs, quarterly reports, and then one 10K. That's the annual report, which includes the fourth quarter, and that has to be audited. Those financial statements will be uh, filed with the SEC. That's what it means to say you're reporting a public company to the shareholders and the market center, NASDAQ or New York. Anyways, this corporation's income statement reports net income of $10 million per year. That's the bottom line. So you probably heard that. What's the bottom line? The top line is revenue. So after they paid everything, they have $10 million in net income. That's pretty cool as, uh, so far. The company has 1 million shares of 4% $50 par value uh, preferred stock. Okay, well, let's just stop there. You should know that the preferred stockholders are going to be paid before the common stockholders. And that 4%, you should know, is based on par. Now, Kind of funky that the par here is 50 and not 100, but, you know, welcome to uh, test prep vendors. Anyways, 50 times 4%, that's going to be $2. Let me just put that here. $50 par times 4% equals $2. Uh, $2. And uh, that's important. It says that we have 2 million shares of that. So we got to take care of that first before we can pay common times 2 million. And uh, oop, I'm sorry, 1 million. So we have 1 million here of the preferred. So $2 on a million shares is going to be $2 million. Okay, so boom. So we uh, should now let me get my video out of there. So that means of that 10 million that we had in that income, we're going to uh, let's put that in green. We're going to send out of that uh, 2 million to our preferred stockholders. And then remember, you can't pay a dividend in common. And uh, tell you, take care of your preferred stockholders. Yeah, let's put that there. Let's put that in red. And let's make it look a little prettier here. And let me just put in a smaller font. Okay. There we go. Okay, so that means uh, after taking care of our preferred stockholders, by the way, a lot of work in this question. We haven't even actually looked what the question is. We're just kind of going about our business saying what's going on here, right? So a lot of uh, processing to be done here. And so now we have $8 million that is available to our common stockholders. So, you know, as a board, we decide, well, you know, how much of the $8 million are we going to distribute to our shareholders available? Let's put down, put down a smaller font. And boom, uh, too common. Okay, so let's see. So we got $8 million there. It says the corporations pay, paid, if the corporation paid a quarterly dividend, so they're just telling you that they're going to pay a quarterly dividend of 60 cents. So if that 60 cents is being paid quarterly, that means four times a year. That's going to be $2.40 as an annual dividend. Okay, so 
if the company paid a quarterly dividend of 60 cents per share on the common stock. Okay, so no question here, I guess. So now they're just asking us which of these is true. The uh, dividend payout ratio was 60%. Well, I, I doubt you're going to have to calculate the dividend payout ratio, but, you know, ratio always means division. You know, if you can't decide what to do, you know, divide, you can't decide what to do, divide by the first number or the second number. Usually this is an, uh, an understanding that mature, stable businesses can afford to pay a bigger portion of their earnings as a dividend. So let's see what our earnings per share was. The way we're going to do that is we're going to take our $8 million dollars. And that was, remember, our earnings after we paid our preferred stock or earnings available to common. And we're going to divide that by, it tells us, uh, 2 million shares. And let's see, where's my divide thing? Boom. By 2 million. And that means we have earnings per share. Again, I think this is, would be a a face of death draw question on your actual series seven. But anyways, that would be, uh, we have earnings per share of $4. Uh, by the way, much more likely that you're going to have to actually uh, do PE ratio based on that, that you're gonna have to do what I'm doing right here. And what I'm doing here is a process of elimination. So they're saying the dividend pay ratio is 60%. I'm certainly gonna put a T or an F next to that. If it's true, we have our answer. It's a false. We move on to our next, uh, you know, uh, offer. I think of these as offers. You know, they're making me an offer of a proper answer. I, I would know the dividend payout ratio is the dividend, which in this case is 240, right? The dividend of 240 divided by the uh, earnings, which in this case is $4, and boom, I would know that. Let's put that in big, a big font. And again, as I said, more often than not, uh, the assumption thing is about, you know, what kind of company has a larger dividend payout ratio? And it's typically a mature, stable business. Uh, for example, utilities typically have that. Let's see. If, so now I'm just proving whether A is true or false. So 240 divided by four, indeed equals 60%. Boom. 0.60 is the same as 60%, right? 60%, 0.60, you have 60% of a dollar. That's, you know, 60 cents. So 0 0.60. And so that indeed is the correct answer. So now that we have the correct answer, boom. Let's just see what are other ones. The retained earnings increased by 6.8. No, the retained earnings would be the difference between what we just distributed here, which was uh, 240 times 2 million, the remainder of that would have been uh, go to retained earnings. The earnings per share was five. No, we just determined the earnings per share was four. Uh, the current return on the preferred stock was four. We don't know the current return because they didn't give us the current market price. So we don't know any of that. Uh, so the answer to the question is the dividend payout ratio is 60%. Again, uh, I wouldn't invest too much time in this as a test taker. Your time is better spent elsewhere. I do have a link to a discussion of balance sheets and uh, income statements, and I will uh, link that in a pinned comment and the video description. Uh, remember that inch by inch, your Series 7 is a cinch. Yard by yard, your Series 7 is hard.